My overall goal is to try to improve the psychosocial outcomes of teenagers and young adults with cancer. So the project that we're doing really tries to focus on um, how can we promote resilience during the cancer experience such that the patients can then kind of launch into the rest of their lives with a little bit more experience. So globally, what we're trying to do is improve the psychosocial outcomes of teenagers and young adults with cancer. And our idea is that if we can promote resilience during their cancer experience, we'll arm them with some of the skills that will enable them to launch into that survivorship experience a little bit better. Well, we've done it in a few steps. Um, resilience, it turns out, is a little bit complicated to study and understand. So we started by interviewing teenagers and young adults with cancer from the time that they were diagnosed and kind of throughout their cancer experience. And we mostly asked them questions about what their needs were, how they were coping, what would help them along the way so that they would be better prepared longer term to deal with this experience. And they kind of gave us a whole bunch of different ideas, but what it really boiled down to was two kind of sets of skills. One was the social piece that is totally normal for teenagers. Um, and one was the individual personal resources. How do I deal with stress? How do I set goals? How do I um, find some positivity or maintain my optimism in this whole challenge that I'm going through? So from there, we then developed a questionnaire where we could study kind of over time, what is the trajectory of that experience for them and where is the point where we would be um, most helpful in intervening. And then the final step is to develop an intervention that really does teach these patients what they need in order to cope with their cancer experience. So it sort of arms them with some resilience resources. Ultimately, what we would like to see is that this turns into some sort of a screen that comes when we meet patients at various phases across their cancer experience and even when they launch into their survivorship phase. And then what it would be is taking the results of that screen and meeting the needs of patients in a targeted approach. So those who need certain skills would be taught those skills. Those who need certain social supports would get those supports.